Lessons on being an African immigrant in America. One, lose your accent. People will make fun of the African girl, but nobody, nobody fucks with the black girls. Even when young, we can be so angry. Two, don't stare at white people. <laughs> they are not animals in the zoo. Three, when they stare at you like an animal in the zoo, do not be confused. Do not bare teeth when they reach out to pet you, to touch your hair without permission. You are, after all, so exotic, so foreign, so other. Some would even call you inhuman. They will call you alien. They will ask you who called your spaceship to crash land your brain drained dreams onto these eastern shores. These eastern shores have already landed ships from your world when we invaded it. But this is the 21st century and we don't need chains to make slaves of people anymore. For with a name like Mwende, Kalandu, Katwiwa, the jokes will come. Do not envy your brother David or blame your mother Lucy. The way their names roll smooth off foreign tongues is proof that colonization and assimilation go hand in hand. You are your grandmother's legacy. Five, when black people tell you, you aren't really black, Remind them how Amadou Diallo's dead body looked no different than any other black man's in this gradual genocide. And I know you may not call it that in this country, but believe me when I say we know what genocide looks like. We know what it sounds like. It's white lies telling families that they are enemies. We are identical twins separated at birth, now strangers. The hardest thing we will ever learn is how to replant a family tree whose fruits were exploited and whose branches bore nooses. Six, if people ask you if you're upset, because you're on your period, the week Al-Shabaab attacks a mall in your home country. Do not marvel at those who think blood only comes out of holes that the body has formed naturally. Seven. When nearly 300 of your West Coast kin go missing and Americans claim them as our girls. Refrain from asking questions like, why did it take a month and a hashtag for them to claim family when it was in the news? Or, why weren't the 50 schoolboys attacked by Boko Haram claimed as our boys too? Instead, ask that they do not Coney 2012 these 234s to the backs of their browsers, that they not be the kind of family who only shows up to $12 weddings and funerals. Seven, I mean eight. If you realize you are powerless to stop your metamorphosis from the African girl to the American girl, Every time you break free from Western cocoon and fly back to your roots, resist the urge to remain pupa in the silk of stolen comforts, confront the turbulence that will shake your flight with the truth that you are no longer sure which place is foreign and which is home to you.